Now let me quickly show you how to resend a receipt for a customer who originally didn't want the receipt or perhaps lost their original receipt and simply want another one sent to them. From the main screen, tap on the profile icon, tap on sales history, give it a second to populate. Sales history is great. It'll keep up to 60 days worth of transactions directly on your application. Let's say the one that we need is the one for $8.56. We tap there, and you'll tap on the bottom right-hand corner to send receipt. And now you can either send a receipt through the email address, or you can use the mobile number if they want to have it texted to them, but remember that uh, messaging and data rates may apply. We'll say they want to have an email receipt sent to them this time. Tap done. Tap send receipt, and the customer's receipt has been resent to them. This is simply a demonstration of that. Tap done, and you're ready to go. Now let's talk about issuing a refund for a transaction that you previously did. I put this in portrait mode to make it hopefully a little easier to see. Tap on the profile icon in the upper left hand corner, tap on your sales history, you have 60 days of sales history that you can uh, access from your application. And from here, we were going to refund one of these charges for $8.56. From here, you'll see you have two choices, either issue refund or send receipt. We're going to issue the refund. From here, you, for security purposes, you're going to enter in your eight-digit passcode. And also, you're going to be able to choose a reason for the refund, either return, accidental charge, canceled, or other we're going to say a return. You can also say that we're refunding to the original card and then tap the amount to continue. Now at this point, if the customer is with you, you can simply have them sign. If you're doing this refund and it's over the phone, you can simply tap anywhere in the space to continue on to the next screen. Hit complete. If you want to send a receipt to your customer for the refund, simply tap on email receipt, type in their email address, Hit done, then send receipt, and you're ready to go. What you'll see next is the receipt for the refund for the $8.56. Tap done, tap on your profile icon, and you're ready to start your next transaction.